All right, friends, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, this is my son Noah. Hi. We built a monstrous cabbie from the movie Planes. Ah, oh, that looks so cool. You probably also noticed that it wasn't painted. We just wanted to see if it would fly. Yeah. Fly it did. Matter of fact, we've been flying this almost every week. Oftentimes when we have Thursday and Friday flying nights where we're teaching people how to fly, welcoming families at Edgewater. Uh, we're flying this and giving them a great show. A lot of people want to see us revisit the watermelon drop, but this time with pumpkins. So we're going to do just that. We're going to use Cabby here and we're going to outfit him to drop pumpkins. But first thing we need to do is put an epic paint job on him. Let's do it. Let's do it. Now typically with our smaller planes, we can just paint the whole airplane at one time, then come back with decals or paint brushes and make it look amazing. Cabby's simply too big, but the cool thing is, is we have where Cabby can break down. So his nose comes off, the main body comes off. It'll break down into basically three pieces. We can then tape them off, spray the different colors. Then when we reassemble them, we can put the decals on and they'll look amazing. And with painting, the first step we recommend is to scuff it up really good. Whenever you scuff the surface, it's gonna give a good mechanical bond so the paint can bite into it. We oftentimes use steel wool or a red scotch break. So I absolutely love Cabby's iconic paint job from the movie. Just the simplicity of the four colors really adds a lot. The first thing we need to do is we need to establish the two colors we're gonna paint. So we're gonna first base everything with a gray primer, give it a nice flat matte gray to represent the under part of the wings, also the under part of the fuselage. It's really important that you don't rush this step and let the paint really dry. As a matter of fact, one thing we did is while we were painting cavity, we also sprayed some test panels and we used tape to be able to tell when the paint was dry enough to be able to stick it to it without pulling it off. This is something you guys can easily do with scrap foam yourself. Once the gray paint's dry, we're next gonna move on and we're gonna mask it off. I love using fine line painter's tape that you typically would use on a wall that has low adhesive, but also has a very even coat so you get a really nice crisp line. The important thing is, is not to apply too much pressure and also take your time and remember that spray paint's gonna miss and it's gonna go to the path of least resistance. So you wanna use paper to be able to mask off everything you don't wanna touch. If you have a tiny little hole on the side, the paint's likely gonna go in there and kind of scatter through that hole and get all over your accent color. All right, so while they're cranking away on Cabby, a huge airplane out there. I'm gonna tell you about today's sponsor for this episode and that is NordVPN. So if you don't know what a VPN is, a VPN is a virtual private network and NordVPN is actually one of the leading VPNs out there with over 5,500 super fast servers in 60 countries. So if you don't know what a VPN is, a VPN is a virtual private network. And what that does is it allows you to be secure on the internet. So keeping your browsing history and everything secure is kind of a big deal because like when you're, let's say at a coffee shop or you're at an airport and you're using public Wi-Fi there are people that want to steal your information. So NordVPN actually protects the data while traveling in public spaces. So a couple other cool things about NordVPN is that there's no data logging. There's 24 seven customer support with live chat and emails. There's up to six simultaneous connections as well as there's double data encryption for increased anonymity. The other crazy thing is that it even works in countries that have crazy firewalls like China. So the cool thing about NordVPN is that it's compatible with most operating systems such as Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS and Android, as well as it has no bandwidth caps. It's unlimited bandwidth, which is fantastic. So if you're like me and you wanna keep everything that you're doing on the internet secure and safe, make sure you check the links down below. It's nordvpn.com slash flight test and using the coupon code flight test, you're gonna get 70% off your subscription, which is $3.49 a month. And you'll get an additional two months free using that coupon code flight test. So a big shout out to NordVPN for making this content possible because of cool sponsors like them and because of all of you guys out there watching, we're able to do what we do every single day and we love it. So thank you so much. Make sure you check out those links below. And now we're gonna go see what's going on with Cabby. Cabby is now painted, decals are done, and we also have our bomb they built here. So our new maker home is pretty cool. It comes in a box that's 20 inches by 30 inches. And when you open it up, it's bifolded, so it actually gives you 30 by 40. So this is what we call one sheet now, is a 30 inch by 40 inch sheet. You guys didn't know, we already did a bomb drop episode where we dropped watermelons out of our sky van. We learned a lot from that, so we kind of re-engineered it, make it a little bit better. This time it has to drop pumpkins, and there's a big difference from uh, the sky van to cabby here. Mainly, Cabby is over five feet bigger than the Sky Van, which is crazy. <laughs> Along with that bigger wingspan though, comes a little bit more stress on the wings. I did beef it up early on with lots of wood, but I'm not confident a 10 pound or 11 pound pumpkin <laughs> is not gonna fold it like a kite. One big concern I have is we've flown this a lot and I built this wing to be incredibly strong. Mainly, I put lots of wood spars in here, but also filled it up with Instafoam through the center section all the way out to about this point here. But the issue is, is, is we take a 10 pound weight right in the center and we gotta lift all this weight. I'm really concerned that these wings may not be able to hold it and the last thing I wanna have happen is for the wings to snap in midair. Oh! oh my God! 
Bro, bro, dude, he came. Dude, yeah. All right, <laughs> so Josh is out there uh, painting cabbie right now, and our mail came. So, Stephen, you've been working with our friends over at DJI, yes, and they have a lot of cool stuff in the pipeline, and they gave us a sneak peek at this guy. This, for those of you who aren't familiar, which you're probably not, because it's not out until today, is the Mavic. Mini. Oh my god. Look at this baby, look little look at this. tiny baby. Oh, it's unbelievable. Feel how light it is, dude. Oh. Uh, and that's the kind of the whole idea of this thing is it's 249 grams, which is pretty cool. Well, so this isn't a paid advertisement. Our friends over at DJI did send us two of these little Mavic Minis and we could not be more stoked about them. And we wanted to share them with you guys because it is the latest and the greatest, especially coming in at 249 grams. It's less than 250 grams. And for most countries, that is very significant because it is regulated differently than RC vehicles that are more than 250 grams. This Guy, you're not gonna have to worry about getting any kind of clearance for your airspace or anything like that. Plus, we're dropping some pumpkins here today, so what better way to <laughs> capture it than a sweet DJI Mavic Mini? The other cool thing is it still has the standard performance of a DJI drone, so it flies for up to 30 minutes, all the meanwhile capturing HD footage up to 2.7K, which is pretty cool. Two other unique features too is this thing has a built-in flight tutorial within the app, so it's actually a pretty good drone for anybody who has no flight experience. You can get the drone and learn to fly before you actually fly the drone. Now we have used DJI quads in the past to capture some amazing footage. Uh, this one is going to be amazing because of how small it is. So when Josh is flying the giant cabbie, I'm going to have to plan my flight route to make sure I'm at the right place at the right time to capture not only the pumpkin leaving the airplane, but also splattering on the ground. All right, so we got our pumpkins. White pumpkin. Yeah, I didn't even know these existed. It's we an albino pumpkin. pumpkin. Two pounds. Two pounds, five ounces. I'm betting four and a half. Five point four. 4.7. Now Josh said that Cabby, believe it or not, even though it is a bigger plane, it hasn't been performing as well as the original Skyvan. Mm -hmm. The Skyvan, as goofy as it actually looked, it actually performed really, really well, and it was carrying up those those big watermelons. Yeah, yeah. That, that was ten, 12 pounds. 10, 10 pounds, 12, 12 pounds. One was 17, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> These are great starting point. Yes. But don't tell Josh, I think I'm gonna run back to the pumpkin patch and get another couple of options just to see. So we've got some uh, pieces of wood, very technical explanation of yes. what these are. Um, and we're gonna put them on the outside and on the inside, run a piece of wood through the middle just mm -hmm. to make everything a bit more um, rigid. Yeah. And, uh, and then we'll put the, yeah, the axle through and yeah, axle. put some wheels on. If you guys don't know this gentleman, Hello. introduce yourself. I'm James, I used to write a lot of articles for flight tests. I now work for the Vintage Model Company and I have a YouTube channel yeah. very much into making planes. James, <laughs> he's a humble guy, he's an amazing individual. He also wrote the book about getting into the hobby, the flight oh, test yes. handbook, yes. right? Yes, indeed. Yeah, if you want to get into the hobby, then that's a good way yeah. in. He's over here from the UK and matter of fact, I'm having problems with Cabby here because we can't just have him take off of his belly with about 15 pounds of watermelon and extra cargo in there. We need to fix Pumpkin. that. Nice thing is we're gonna run a solid axle. That way, as the load goes down on this part here, it's gonna run through along this top piece that you see right here. That way, when it hits and it flexes, it's not just gonna be all the rotational force hitting the side plate of a, uh, frankly, a piece of wood. It's gonna be supported through the whole belly plate here with wood reinforcement. So it should take a lot of weight and a yeah. lot of abuse, right? Yeah. And what I'm gonna do is we'll put one little hidden wheel. So it should pivot back super easy, but when it's sitting on the ground, it'll sit nice and level. This will have such a light weight on it. I'll be able to use yeah. a differential and still steer Yeah, I was wondering about that. This is actually how a lot of planes are. My old Pete and Pole, in order to steer it because I had a tail skid and no brakes, what I would do is I would lighten the elevator in the tail section by pushing forward, blast it with throttle like kick and rudder, and it would take the skid off and let it scoot one way or the other. We're just doing it in reverse. We're picking up the tail and letting the nose move around. I've just been uh, asked to make the eyes for Cabby out of Maker Foam. And yes, I'm gonna make a bit of a mechanism where we can still access the batteries. There's a battery that goes in there. I'm going to cut out some foam and see if it works. I'm really concerned that these wings may not be able to hold all this weight. One thing we can try is by simply taking a strip of aluminum, we can tether the bottom of the fuselage to the bottom surface of the wing. That way, if the wings want to flex up at all, the aluminum's gonna keep it from bending that way. So I got the lightest, thinnest stuff I could find. And what I'm thinking, if we find the main spar and we get a hard point, I want to get it as close to the main spar as possible and we'll use one common piece so that way they can't split off of the fuselage. And that should give us the ability to make it incredibly rigid so when the wings want to fold up, 
this under tension is not going to lag. So we want this under maximum tension right when this wing is at neutral state. So that way as it flexes, this is only going to get tighter. I don't want this to be all floppy. It's We're going to make each side individually. That way uh, they're exactly, you know, conditioned for each wing. Each wing is a little bit different. So the struts are done. I'm a lot more confident now that it'll be able to haul those 10 pound pumpkins up. So there's one thing left that we're going to do. We're going to take it out to ready board runway and put her in the air. We got some batteries coming. We got to hook some batteries in there. What battery are you using on this sucker? Uh, Noah has it. Uh, we got a 2250 Lumineer 3 cell power in the BEC to do the servos. Okay. And then we got an 8000 milliamp Lumineer 6 cell Ooh. to uh, go all the way in the nose. That's why we have this extension. And then Mr. Wolmsley here made the awesome trap door for his eyeballs where we can basically reach through and then close them up. Nice. Dude, check this out. So I'm just sitting here, not even flying. If you can see there, the Mavic Mini is just cruising right now. I'm using a quick shot, orbit quick shot, which is pretty cool. It does a full 360 and all you have to hit is go. Oh, it's I actually see. tracking you, Josh. <laughs> all right, so here's here's a uh, okay. droney quick shot. Check uh, oh, this out. Um, oh, that way. Got everybody in frame here. It's tracking me actually. Yep. He's got to wave goodbye. Yep, yep. See ya. <laughs> it's communication. And there it goes. <laughs> The slow pan out. It's, we, it's moving by itself, yeah, dude. We gotta put the battery in. That's sick. Dude, the Edgewater looks awesome right now in the fall colors. Oh, yeah, yeah. especially with this sunline stuff, dude. Oh, amazing day. Whoa, hey, easy there, Tiger. That's nice. I just get bouncing slightly, but. Yeah, and I bet you. Oh, that's nice and light. It's amazing. Oh. <laughs> Landed. <laughs> Cool thing is, is it, it comes with a uh, removable prop, so we're good. Well, and also the hinged props are really cool. Too. Yeah, they didn't, just kinda... didn't do any damage. First uh, Mavic mini crash on the internet, hopefully. Alex Zavada. <laughs> so you, you should have put the <laughs> prop guards on there, yeah. and then that wouldn't happen, because you can have prop guards on it. Too. Yeah, actually, that's probably they probably designed it specifically for guys like me who <laughs> do right. stuff like that. Well played, son. All right, dude, so we got some pumpkins here. Look at this. We got a whole <laughs> arsenal, every different shape and size. Would you guys put streamers on there? So we're gonna start with a cluster bomb with a bunch of the small ones with streamers on them. That way we can tell which way their wind's going when we're all dodging them. <laughs> yeah. We don't have to have a reason for it. We don't have, we don't have, to, have to explain, explain ourselves. <laughs> this is a flight test. We've got some big rolls of fabric we're laying out here to make big old X so that we have a target to shoot for. And it's getting close to go time. So Josh, I'm, I'm, how you feeling? I'm nervous. <laughs> it's like I'm really nervous. Dude, you built that thing so well, you got nothing to worry about. Well, now it looks good though. So how many pumpkins we got in there? there was, I didn't count. I think there's there a lot of pumpkins, a lot 10. of strangers. There was 10 small, small ones. This is okay. like, this is like round one. There's a plethora of pumpkins in there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. All right, all right, let me, ready? wait, don't go yet. Let me get this mini map. Oh my gosh, that, that view is awesome. That Mavic Mini in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his big face. It's oh, awesome. yeah. He's got such a good face. Watch out, Maddie. Right. So I'm going to I'm gonna switch it into sport mode because I have a feeling I'm going to need all the help I can get. Are we ready? Ready, yep, dude. Ready, ready, buddy? Good do luck. It. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Yeah! yeah. Uh, with ease. That gives it, she's beautiful. Oh, what the Still this, just one speed and that is slow. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we need. She's a sleepy, sleepy Does it boy. feel much different? Yeah, I do feel like I'm flying at the higher band okay. of power. Dude, how you how you feeling? She's uh, a lot heavier than she used to be though, too. You know, about three pounds just in paint and bomb drop and all that stuff, so. All right, but she's up. I don't Dude, care. That's, that's, that was uh, it looks beautiful on the countryside here from the are, Mavic. Are you keeping up with it? Are you it? behind him? I'm behind it. Is that you? It's like you. I'm going to keep an eye on you. That's amazing. Where is Maddie? I'm right behind it. Right on it. Oh, wow. You're both right, right there. Are we ready for round one? Okay, yep. I think we are. You are very, very high, my friend. Yeah. That's, believe it or not, a lot of people, there's been a lot of talk about, oh, we need over 400 feet. That right there is lucky to be 250 feet. All right. Wow, um, that's crazy. Uh, you're coming down towards the X? Yep, towards coming towards the X. So if you don't know, we have literally a giant, All like, 80-foot right. X out there. Four, three, two, one. Oh. There they go. Yes! Come oh, on, that's dude. amazing! Oh, that's, they look beautiful. Where are they going? Wow. I don't know. I am not accurate. They look, look so at that, dude. Cool. That's so cool. Oh. They're actually pretty on target. Look at this. Look at the streamers. Oh, way overshot. Oh, wow. Okay. Awesome. The streamers are on top of the hill, that's David. Super far away. Oh, oh, that's without God. pumpkins. Pumpkins yeah. are in the between both hills. So, so here, here's the reality: is I would never <laughs> win a war. <laughs> well, that was sick. Unfortunately man. for us, 
the next pass around, you're going to have to come closer than yeah. you thought. That <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Alright, so, we're, we're no, bringing... Thank you. Look no, at thank the, you. the size of this thing. Dude, that is yeah. beast mode. I'm glad you're not fighting fires with Cabby, Josh. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I hear you, man. Where is Cabby? Coming on final. Watch out, son. Left, right, right, left. Oh, there right. he is. That's coming in. Ooh, he's, he's hot. He wanted to keep there flying. Nice. She floats for days. Like All you need to do is listen to the link. <laughs> yeah, great work. All right, thank you. All right, well, round. I mean, that was beautiful, but yeah. also an epic failure at the same time. <laughs> no. We got to up the weight and get it closer next time. All right, All right, let's reload. Let's do three medium ones. All right, one, two, three. Triple threat. Well, I got a, I got a baby pumpkins. <laughs> Literally, they're just like almost still in one piece. Still eat these. Yeah, right now. Bake a pie. <laughs> Good luck, Cubby. Hope you come back in one piece. So no lie, easily between the Skyvan and Cabby as it sits is easily 10 pounds more. Each one of these motors puts out 12 pounds of thrust. We have over 10 pounds now of pumpkin. So when you think about it, 10 pounds heavier, not counting the five pounds of paint we put in it. Who knows what's gonna happen. All right, round two. And tell me when, guys. I'm good. Ready when you are rolling. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah, that buddy. was much more smooth. It looks like it likes more weight. <laughs> She's like just consistently tired. Of course, now I know why Cabby is cranky. It's always hauling always stuff. Always hauling things around. It kind of sounds like a real airplane. Yeah. <laughs> Those motors, man. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna be setting up pretty quick. I'm gonna do a long final, keep getting altitude, and I'm coming around. I'm dropping my load here. Okay. I mean, I'm out of juice. Are you? Oh, really? Yes, yeah. Oh no. Oh no. All right. Gabby, Gabby emergency, right. emergency landing. landing. She's out of juice. She's out of juice. Oh, no. Quick. Oh no. And it's not opening the hatch either. I'm trying to stay with Cabby. He's diving fast. Combat landing. Yes. Oh, there they go. We oh. got it, God. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. With all the juice. <laughs> Come on, Josh, bring it in. Is she dead dead? She is D-E-D. -E -D. is full throttle the whole time. Come on, Josh. We got it. I'm bringing her a different approach pattern here. Oh. Do you see that one motor just working? Here it comes. Yeah. It's coming straight towards us. He's coming right at me. I got your back, now. Oh, oh. Yeah. Great work, Testimony buddy. to Cavi. Basically, when the battery gets down so low that it can't work, one motor will fire before the other one was. We were flying half that time off of one motor, pulsing before the other Dude. one, and it was still stable off the land. Awesome. Gotta right, check, check out. out and see what's going on with these pumpkins that dropped. Pretty good explosion, I'm gonna be honest. Look like napalm. Oh yeah, dude. Look, you don't have to carve your pumpkins. We do it for you here at Flight Test. It's got pieces everywhere. Oh, here's the main impact it looks like. Oh yeah. You're gonna have a little dirt in your pie. Yeah, but uh, you know, you take these pumpkin seeds, bake them, eat them, they're fantastic. Really nice holiday treat. It didn't make a, as big a dent as I thought it would, but uh, it did explode quite nicely. So I think we're gonna go next, we're gonna put the huge pumpkins in and see what explosions they come in. Here's the reality of what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to send this thing with full commitment towards those trees and hope it gets off the ground. It's so heavy, the belly's dragging on the ground, causing drag. It's like 12 pounds of pumpkin in a plane that's frankly just way too big to properly fly. Well, if it hits the trees, the pumpkin will match the beautiful fall colors. Yeah, you know what's gonna happen? If it's gonna hit the trees, I'm dropping my pumpkin into those trees to get over the trees. Uh, so uh, just drop it and go. Like a true, you ready like for a true it? water bomber. Like a, All right, are we ready? All right, here we go. All right, everyone's clear, everyone's safe. Three, yeah. two, one. Three, two, one. <laughs> Three, two, one. Come on, Cabby. Yep. Oh. Yes! Oh, yeah! I see the belly going blah, 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 blah. Oh, she's climbing like a she, champ. Oh. She don't care. No, he don't. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is full throttle all the time. Starting our battery. Our batteries go, no! See you later, oh, alligator. Drop it sooner rather than later. Oh man. Oh man, well, Cabby's capable. I can see it. Capable so Cabby. <laughs> I heard the original C-119s didn't climb worth a, a darn either, so. Uh, well, it's all right. realistic. All right, Guys, buddy. We're, we're just gonna be going for altitude, so. All right, guys, all count right, down. Awesome. Yes. Five. Four, three, two, one. Drop it. Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Yes! Get it! Boys, go! Oh, it. Oh, oh, I'm still way off. But oh. it's not now! <laughs> 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 that was amazing. All right. What can, just happened? Can I please buzz the tower? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yes. Come on down. Granted. Permission granted. Permission oh, granted. All right. So, affectionately, we call the tower, which is Diane's house. <laughs> and this is my favorite thing to do on a late evening. We buzz the tower. 
what happened, bro. <sighs> Fail safe way over there. Oh, oh my gosh! gosh. <laughs> oh, there's, Hello. there's still some streamer over there. Wait, yeah, the streamer's floating. Ooh. Well, the thing that happened That's was it. I was too close and I got caught up in the streamers and I was You're upside down. Oh, got it. <laughs> he just I, just, I got the streamer. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. So if you guys want to see us drop other things like watermelons, you can check that video out here. If you want to see other planes that we built based on the Disney movies, you can check those out here. If you want to learn more about the Mavic Mini, check out our tech channel. We'll be doing a full review to tell you everything about it. If you have any more ideas of things that you want to see us drop out of planes like this, let us know in the comments below. See you guys next time. Yeah. Oh, yes. well, saved. well saved. I knew what was going to happen. Yeah. I was like, ah!